I'm gonna try out a new planning format this week. It's just so wholesome. Looks good. It's when we see 12. Oh, it's 12. <laughs> I'm going through the GYG drive thru It's Friday night. What else would I be doing? What the heck? Good morning friends! Happy Monday! New weekly vlog. I just finished a walk this morning. Here's my little outfit. My shoes and socks are already off because I don't want that. Wearing some little white fox leggings and white fox sports bra as well. And this is just a cotton on tank. Cotton on body I should say actually. Um, but I'm gonna go shower and get ready because I've got breakfast with the girls this morning. Update. I'm all ready for the day. I am feeling so tired today. I like forced myself to get out of bed this morning and go on my walk, but I really could have stayed there for a very long time. We need a coffee. Today is Monday and Liam has been away for the past few days hanging out with the boys on a Bucks trip which obviously I'm so happy that he was able to have a little bit of a boys trip but I have slept so terribly without him here and I don't know if it's because he wasn't here but that's the only real thing that's changed. So he's been away for like three days, two nights. He comes home today though. And the first night he was away, I couldn't get to sleep till 1 a.m. And then even last night, I think the last time I remember checking the clock was 11 p.m. And that's just so unlike me and I'm really feeling it today. So <laughs> I'm gonna make a coffee. I am going out for brunch with the girls. I might just not grab a coffee when I'm out with them because I feel like that much coffee in that short amount of time is probably not the best, but. I just need it right now, otherwise I'm gonna get there and be like a zombie. It's gonna get a bit loud. Got my coffee. I only have about 20 minutes till I have to head off again, so I better get this going. I've just been planning out my day and figuring it out. I've actually got a pretty busy week this week, mostly just socially. So I've got brunch with the girls today, which will be really nice. I haven't seen Beck in a while, so it'll be good to catch up. And then tomorrow I'm catching up with my friend Gabby, and she's one of my closest friends, but also one of those friends that I definitely don't see enough. So I literally love it when we hang out. So we're gonna get breakfast tomorrow before she starts work. And then on Wednesday, George and I are going to Connor's place. I know a lot of you know who Connor is. It's really interesting on your analytics, if you're a YouTuber, you can see which other channels a lot of your subscribers are also subscribed to. And it's interesting because a lot of the people who you guys also watch are my friends on YouTube, which is fun. So obviously a lot of you guys watch Georgia, Connor, the Meshka twins as well. And I think Sarah's day is on there as well. I mean, I do not know Sarah personally, but it's just interesting to look at the, like the analytics and the stats and stuff. I'm gonna try out a new like planning format this week. I usually do like a weekly spread in my bullet journal, but I'm gonna try and do daily spreads just to see if that is more productive or more helpful to me. So we will see, it's definitely like trial and error. This is very basic by the way. <laughs> I don't really put a lot of effort into my bullet journal. It depends, if I'm feeling really creative then I will, but majority of the time I just use my bullet journal because it is the most effective way for me to plan things exactly how I want to because I'm very particular with the types of planners that I use and how it's all laid out. So if you're like that, definitely get into bullet journaling because obviously it's just so completely customizable and it doesn't have to look really fancy at all. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll update you throughout the week and tell you how that's going for me. But I'm gonna enjoy this coffee and then probably head out to see the girls. Look who I'm with. Back with Bear. And of course with George. Not like I don't see you like three times a week anyway, but. <laughs> that looks absolutely incredible. No. It smells really good. It really good. does. You're and this looks steamy. I'm excited. Oh, I'll have to do a little, um, a little oh, yes. shot. Oh, the aesthetic. <gasps> oh, oh, is it? Oh. It's not. It's not. Oh, it is, oh, it is, it is. We got it, we got it. I was a bit disappointed for a second, but it <laughs> redeemed itself. Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. I didn't actually vlog anything yesterday. Sorry about that. Honestly, not a lot happened yesterday, so you didn't miss out on anything. Today is just pretty much a work day, as per usual. But this afternoon, I'm heading over to Connor's house at about four, so that will be really nice. So, haven't got a super long work day today because I get to kind of finish early and go hang out with some friends this afternoon. But I do need to get a lot of stuff done before that. I feel like this week has been a very social week, which is great. I love hanging out with my friends, but obviously that kind of interrupts my work week. And I am so blessed to work for myself, choose my own hours and stuff. But at the same time, I definitely need to still be getting my work done. But today's job is to 
plan and start filming my Friday upload, but I just don't really know what I want to film. And that's what I'm really struggling with right now. It's like 8 a.m. I think, or 7.45. And I'm kind of starting my work day now, but I just don't know what to film. There's a few options. I was thinking I could film a wardrobe declutter, but at the same time, I don't think I even have that much stuff to declutter. I was thinking I could film a what I eat in a day, but I don't know if that's like super interesting. I feel like I don't eat really interesting meals. I'm tired. I also tanned last night. I used the Bondi Sands Pure Tan, and I really like how it looks actually. I feel like once you get the hang of it, it works really, really well. Anyway, I'm going to stop just sitting here and chatting. And hopefully I'll update you when something else is happening. Maybe when I figured out what I'm doing. Also, if you're wondering, this jumper is thrifted. So I got this as an op shop. So I'm not sure where it's from. I think it's actually from Target originally or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Just finished doing my makeup. And I have also decided that I think I am going to film my office tour this week. But obviously I need to go shopping and get some pieces. And rearrange this room a little bit. Bit, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to. So I guess I'm having a bit of a shopping day, which is actually good because it is so overcast outside. It's good to film when it's overcast to a certain extent, like when it's not super sunny and it's a little bit overcast, it makes the lighting just a little bit more even, which is really nice. It almost acts as a natural like buffer, but when it's this gray and like foggy and dark, it is not good. <laughs> so I don't think today will necessarily be a suit. Like you can just tell how like dark and cool toned and stuff it is. And yes, you can put filters on videos and edit the color and stuff, but I would just rather film when it's a bit less gray. <laughs> Little update. It's raining, if you can hear that. But I came out to come shopping for my video and it's been an hour of shopping and I found absolutely nothing. So excited. I was at like a shopping center, so I checked out like Kmart, Target, a few other stores. I also tried to find some new jeans because none of my jeans fit me. I have to wear a belt with like every single pair except for one of them. And I would really love a pair that just fits me without a belt because sometimes a belt kind of like ruins the outfit. So I tried to find some and I tried on the size that I normally wear in everything else. And some of them were too big. Some of them I couldn't even get past my butt. And so it was a massive fail and I give up. I even tried on really expensive jeans because I thought they would fit really well, like over $100, and they didn't fit either, so I gave up and I'm done. Now I'm at an op shop looking for some more decor pieces, and then I think I'm going to go to like Pillow Talk and make like Freedom or something. Feeling a little defeated. We're still going to keep going. I did, however, pick up some disposable camera photos that I took in to get developed at the end of last week. So I'll show you those when I get home because there's some really cute ones in there. A little bit of an update for today. It is now 3.30. I just finished all of my work for the day. I was supposed to be heading to Connor's this afternoon, but something came up. So we had to postpone that one, which is totally fine. And we'll probably just catch up with her, hopefully sometime next week instead. If not next week, probably just really soon. But apart from that, I've just been filming all day, which is why I haven't really been vlogging, obviously, because I've been filming for my Friday video. But now I am sitting down and it's time to do some reading. This is the book that I'm currently reading. I only like to show you guys once I have finished a book, but I'm like almost at the end of this one, so I'll definitely finish it. Hopefully today. If not today, definitely tomorrow. So it'll still be in this weekly vlog when I finish it. I have enjoyed this one. It's not like my favorite book of all time, but it has been a fun read. So I'm excited to finish this one, see how it ends, and hopefully start something new. So I was reading, and then I was really craving something sweet, so I've decided to make some banana muffins. I'm watching Connor's vlog right now while I make these, but I thought I'd just do a little time lapse. I am just using a random recipe that I found online. It's supposed to be like a healthier banana bread, banana muffin kind of recipe. It's probably not the best thing in the world, but it's also better than some other options. So I'm just gonna go with it. I am gonna add chopped chips because it just makes it so much better. Enjoy this little baking segment. <laughs> Thank you. 
timer on because I always forget to put a timer on. I like to live on the edge. But I was just thinking about it and I had a comment the other day on a video and they were like, Rachel is just so wholesome. And I was like, that's a very interesting comment to me because I just never really considered myself as like, like I really wouldn't describe myself like that, if that makes sense. Like if I only had one word to describe myself, I don't know if wholesome would be the one. But then I started thinking about it a little bit more. And even just then, I was thinking about it and I was like, my hobbies include reading, baking, and craft. And so I guess I am wholesome. <laughs> I do think they meant it as a compliment. They weren't trying to be mean. But as a 23 year old, you kind of hope that people think you're fun. And I don't know if wholesome is equivalent to fun, but I also love my life a lot, so I'm not mad about it. These look incredible. I don't know why I told you that thought that I just had. Yum. I'm going to let them cool down and I'm going to try one. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday today and it is a beautiful day. I'm in a pretty good mood today. I've had a really productive day so far. It is 12 o'clock. And I have just been out and about filming, editing, getting my video ready for tomorrow. I just finished filming. Well, I still actually have to film the intro because I didn't realize that I haven't filmed that yet. But I filmed my office tour and I love how it turned out. I think it is so beautiful. This is my office, by the way. <laughs> but I am just so happy with how it looks. I feel like it just feels so complete. And this is probably the first room in the house that actually feels like that. So that is just a good feeling. But now I will just be spending majority of the afternoon editing. Liam and I are hoping to do a bit of a day trip tomorrow so I need to make sure I get this video complete before then so that I can enjoy my day. I have no idea what we're doing but we just want to get out of the house and do something together. So I'm gonna get to editing and I'll talk to you later. <music> really moved much since I talked to you last. I mean, now I'm sitting at the dining table, but I am still doing the same thing. Still just editing. I did do a little bit more filming too, but I really love how the video has turned out. You guys hopefully would have already seen it by now, but if you haven't, I would definitely recommend going and checking it out. I think it's a really fun one. I've been really enjoying all of my Friday uploads recently, so if you don't watch those ones, definitely check them out because they're just a lot of fun. I've just moved to the dining table because the lighting in my office gets a little bit weird at this time of day, it's like three o'clock. From like three or four until the sun sets, the lighting is just like directly in my eyes because my desk is against that window. I'm not always editing at that time, like I might be working on something different so it might not matter, but today it does matter so we're working from the desk. I think I'm gonna make homemade pizzas for dinner, which I'm really excited about, but I am going to try and finish work for the day at four because I have a couple of other like just houseworky things or like personal errands that I need to run before I need to start cooking dinner and before Liam gets home from work and then we've got like a bit of a date night Bible study night tonight with each other so that'll be fun. Pizzas have been in the oven for about 10 minutes. Are you pulling yours out? I don't know, what do you reckon? Looks good. There's Liam's. Kind of like a meat lover's situation. And then, oh yeah, mine actually is. I thought it wouldn't be as done, but it, I think it is ready. I've just got pizza sauce. I also added barbecue sauce on there too. And then capsicum, spinach, chicken, and cheese. I think that's it. What have you got on yours? I've got pizza sauce, taco mints. Mmm, leftover from last night. Spinach, mm -hmm. cheese. Mm-hmm. Barbecue sauce, QP mayo, and Nando sauce. All the sauces. All the sauces. I'm interested to see how you like it. Good morning, guys. It is around 7.30 and we have just arrived in Toowoomba. There's absolutely no reason why we're in Toowoomba apart from that we just felt like <laughs> felt like doing something a little bit different. So we're on our way to a cafe for breakfast right now and then we're literally just gonna walk around, explore a little bit. I've been to Toowoomba a bunch of times for a bunch of random things. I used to come here for Easter Fest every year. If you're a Christian who lives in Brisbane, you probably know what Easter Fest is. It was just like this huge Christian music festival. Um, it doesn't run anymore though, but I used to go to that every year with my family. And when I worked for City Beach, I helped set up the store here. So when, I think it's called Grand Plaza, but if it's not, 
I apologize. When they open like the new kind of like part of that, I was one of the people who helped set up the Toowoomba store and that was really, really fun. So I like drove here for like a week straight kind of setting that up with a bunch of other workers from other stores. And my friend Gabby also got married at Preston Peak Winery, which may I just say is one of my favorite wedding venues I've ever been to. It is so stunning. And it was definitely like a major inspiration for Liam and I's venue. Like after we saw the view and how beautiful it was at Preston Peak, Liam and I were so determined that we wanted a venue that had a really beautiful view because it just like makes you feel so like special, I don't know. So I have been to Toowoomba a bunch of times but never really just like explored or walked around. So that's what we're doing today for no reason. Just because we haven't really done this before, haven't really been here, so. Hopefully it'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to breakfast and coffee. You looking forward to coffee? Yeah. All right, so it's actually called Grand Central. My apologies for any Toowoomba people. It is so cold. I think it's like 15 degrees, which is very cold for Brisbane people. Okay, let me look up the temperature. Oh, you don't think it actually was 15? No, Toowoomba C 12. Oh, it's 12. <sighs> lollies the mint lollies that have sugar on them it feels so weird do you think we shouldn't touch it a bit sensory it's so soft so we just went to what was it called something laurels laurel, laurel bank. bank park and now we've come to the japanese gardens just to walk around just for fun it looks really pretty online at lunchtime because Liam has work this afternoon so we couldn't stay there for too long but since then I've just been finishing off my Friday upload but I just had a knock on the door from a delivery company and I think I know what this is and I'm so excited I know some of you are gonna know what it is as well I don't have scissors on me right now but I I hope you love your decision made jumper the first of hopefully many more exciting things to launch so much love for you so if you haven't guessed this is a decision made day one jumper and I'm so excited. My friend So launched her very own brand, which may I just say is absolutely incredible and I'm so proud of her. And she sent me one of her jumpers, I'm putting it on right now. So I've got a small, ah! oh my gosh guys, how cool is this? My friend designed this. This is her own company. What the heck? So comfy, so cute. I'll link her website down below so if you guys want to pick up one of these jumpers, you totally can. But guys, oh, I'm so proud. Back to work. Oh, this lighting is incredible. I'm going through the GYG drive through It's Friday night, what else would I be doing? I think I'm gonna get a burrito bowl and a churros, or a churro, however you say it. Hello, Jersey, what's the up Hi, can I just get a mild um, chicken burrito bowl? And can I also just grab one churro as well? Thank you. No, that's all, thank you. It is really busy here tonight. I guess this drive through chat is just me today. Usually, Georgia is with me. She's in Melbourne this week. We've been spending like every Friday night together lately. I mean, just for the last few weeks, but having little busy movie nights and getting GYG. But she's in Melbourne tonight, living her best life. I think they might have the Taylor Swift like concert night thing tonight so i hope they have lots of fun but yeah i'm still gonna get my gyg because why the heck not liam's got boys night tonight and i never know who to message when george is busy like i do have other friends but i don't know if i have other friends that are just like down for a night out at a very short notice so if any of my friends are watching this 
and they want to hang out with not a lot of notice if I'm just having a boring night at home please let me know because otherwise this happens and I'm just going through the drive through by myself with really bad lighting also I look bald so that's really fun but yeah like I said so busy tonight wouldn't be surprised if I'm waiting for quite a while honestly I had a pretty productive afternoon obviously came home from Toowoomba so I only had like half a work day but I still got my video finished got the thumbnail done got all my emails done and started editing this vlog which you're watching right now the plan for the rest of the night is probably just to maybe do a little bit more editing I want to do a workout still because I just I have the time so I feel like I can't not do it. And then I'll probably just chill and read my book. I'm loving my book right now, but I don't want to tell you what I'm reading because everyone likes to ruin the endings for me. So I probably won't until I'm done, but I wouldn't be surprised if I finish it in a few days. It's kind of like, I don't want to say it's a long book, but I feel like the perfect length of a book for me, if I want to get through it fairly quickly, is around like 300 pages. I feel like that is just such a great length. You can get through that so quick, but this one's like 450, so it's a little bit longer than than my preference but it's really not that bad I read a hundred pages in the first day so that's how you know it's a good one it's also a crime one and I haven't read like a crime slash suspense mystery kind of book in a minute because I've been reading romances and you know what I think I missed it okay I'm gonna go before they see the camera <laughs> talk to you when I have my GYG all right ladies beautiful stunning i'm now gonna sit here and eat this beautiful masterpiece probably watch some YouTube or something drink my water also, I did get my cheeky churro. I don't know whether to call it a churro or a churros. I apologize for being uneducated in terms of donuts. But I'm going to watch some YouTube, chill by myself for a little bit, and get on with my rager of a Friday night. Good evening, friends. It is Saturday night. I just realized that I'm doing absolutely nothing for the second night in a row. What a crazy weekend we're having. I haven't updated the vlog today, mostly because nothing interesting happened. I did a lot of reading today, some editing, emails, really boring stuff, but I'm just about to make some dinner and I thought I would film it. I haven't made this recipe before. It's just one I found on Pinterest. What's it even called? It's called like easy something or other. Some sort of pasta. Creamy tomato pasta. I just really felt like having pasta tonight and wanted to try something new. I need to do the dishes first <laughs> and then I'm gonna try and cook this. Listen to this ASMR. Does that not sound so good? That looks so unhealthily good. I'm so excited. Yeah. That looks really good, to be honest. Cheesy, tomatoey goodness. That's literally just like exactly what I was craving. So good. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I just finished getting ready for church. We are going to visit a different church this morning. So we're going to the morning service. Usually we go to our church's night service, but yeah, we're trying something new today. This is my outfit, pretty simple. A little country road tee underneath. Then I've just got this Princess Polly sweater, Everlane jeans, and Puma sneakers. That's it. I just finished a workout, so outfit change. But I got a package at the door on a Sunday, which is kind of crazy. Amazon must deliver on Sundays as well. The story for this one, because I am going to justify it even though I know I don't have to. <laughs> when Liam and I went to Toowoomba the other day, we went into a bookstore and we were like, let's like treat ourselves to a new book because both of us obviously love reading, love books. Liam got a book, but the one that I really wanted, they didn't have in stock. So I ordered it online instead and it is The Family Doctor. This one was recommended to me by my friend Sarah. She reads a lot as well and she messaged me and she's like, you need to read this book. And I was like, I will. So this is a thriller. I have literally no idea what it's about. If one of my friends recommends me a book and says they loved it, then I'll just buy it without even thinking about it, which I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Mm. It looks really interesting with the blurb on the back. I will add that to my bookshelf. I feel like the two like genres that I lean towards the most are pretty much like 
romance type books and then more like psychological thrillers or like mysteries those are my like two favorites I would say and I really like to go back and forth between the two so like read a romance then read a thriller read a romance and read a thriller because I feel like when I read too many of the same genre I get kind of bored so right now I'm reading like a thriller mystery type thing so I'll definitely read a romance before I read this but I don't think I have any other like mystery books well I do have a few actually I don't have any like newer ones so this will probably be one of the next few books that I read but probably not the next one it's now 1 30 and I have no plans for the rest of the day I do have stuff I need to do just not like plans I would love to finish my book today but we'll see I need to get a few things done that are more productive than that would love to keep editing my weekly vlog because if all goes to plan I would love to start getting my weekly vlogs up on a Monday because when I checked my analytics and saw how many of you are online I can like see when you guys are most likely to watch videos and most of you seem to watch videos in the late afternoon slash evening so around like 5 p.m. onwards which is my normal upload time but more of you are active from Monday to Thursday compared to Friday to Sunday so I thought if I start uploading on Mondays and Thursdays instead of Tuesdays and Fridays hopefully you'll be more likely to see my stuff. We'll see how it goes and we'll see if I can keep up with it or if you guys like it better. Let me know if you think Mondays would work better for you compared to Tuesdays and Thursdays rather than Fridays for my other upload. It does make a lot of sense because I feel like people are more likely to have plans in the evenings on like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So me uploading on a Friday afternoon is probably less likely to get watched by you guys and I just want you to see my content. But in saying that, it might not change much. So it's just kind of an experiment. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm gonna see how I go with Mondays. It does mean I have to be a little bit more proactive throughout the week in getting this video done so that I can get it up literally the day after I finish filming because obviously I'm vlogging today, but you guys will see this tomorrow. So if I can stay on track, if you guys like it better, we might stick to Mondays. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> Hello guys, little update. Not looking my best, but I'll probably be in bed in the next few hours. But I wanted to update you guys. I just finished this book. I can't remember when I started this one. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Can't remember, but I started it this week and finished it. It was literally incredible. Such a good read. Shocked me at the end, which is always my favorite. It is a, it is a thriller, I'm assuming. It definitely like creeped me out in some parts of it, but like not in a scary way, just like in a, oh my gosh, that's so creepy kind of way. But I really, really liked it. I think this is probably a five star read for me, either four or five, but I can't really find any faults in it. I really enjoyed it. A lot of people have been messaging me telling me that it's gonna be a movie soon. Honestly, I don't usually watch movies of books that I've read because I'm kind of like, I already know what's gonna happen, you know? I know it's not exactly the same, but it just doesn't really appeal to me. But I also just don't watch a lot of movies anyway, so. I don't know. But if you don't like reading, definitely watch the movie of this when it comes out. But if you do like reading, definitely read this book. I also just want to finish this one tonight. I have like one chapter left, so I would love to finish this one. This has also been a really good read. Definitely made me reconsider a lot of things in my life. So that is always a good thing when you're reading a non-fiction book. And after I finish this, I'll probably pick out a new fiction book because I'm already reading Atomic Habits. So my non-fiction one is sorted, but... Yeah, I'll have to pick out a new novel to read. Probably a romance to switch things up. But you guys can be updated in that in probably my next weekly vlog. I will end off this vlog here because I'm just going to read and chill for the rest of the night. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me this week. I always love sharing my weeks with you guys. But I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.